The way we listen to music is certainly evolving. Our next guest delivered a keynote here at IFA and is here to tell us about the next trends we can expect in music products and production and all the cool stuff. He is the president of Logitech, Bracken P. Darrell. Bracken, welcome into tomorrow. How are you, sir? I'm terrific, Dave. Thank you very much for having me. It's a pleasure, and thanks for being available. We snagged you off the stage literally at, right after your keynote, and we said, you've had some fun things to share. We want you to share them with our audience as well. Well, absolutely. I'd be glad to. I mean, it was really fun giving the keynote here, and this is such an interesting place to be. It I is. can see why into tomorrow's here. You <laughs> know, I was I was thinking when you, you were uh, introducing yourselves, three hours of of uh, of anything is a lot, but <laughs> but I can imagine you can spend three hours just this morning on one of these rooms oh, that yeah. your audience can't see, but you and I have both been through. 28 halls it's full amazing. of all kinds of consumer electronics Absolutely and appliances, amazing. and it just blows you away. It does blow you away. Including some of the cool things that Logitech is doing, and we're going to get to that, but Absolutely. tell me a little bit more about the keynote. What did you share with the audience here in Berlin uh, to impart your wisdom about this industry. Well, I don't know how much wisdom I imparted, <laughs> but but I certainly talked about what we're what we're seeing and what I'm seeing. You know, I'm a I'm a pretty big music uh, music fan personally, and so this is a really exciting time for me. You know, I grew up with with music. My mom was a pianist. You know, almost could have been a concert pianist. My oh. brothers and sisters played musical instruments. I was a very bad pianist myself. <laughs> um, but you tried. Uh, but I tried. Yeah, and, and you can appreciate music even if you don't play it so uh, much. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. And I, I, rela you know, I related my first uh, my first personal experience where I, I went to a KISS concert when I was 13, 12 wow. actually, wow. and the roof caught on fire. And, uh, literally. Literally caught on fire oh, during, the, during the song Firehouse. <laughs> oh, wonderful. And uh, the audience didn't know it, so it burned all night. And the next morning, the, the entire top was gone, and, and Kiss ended up in a lawsuit, I think. Whoa. But that and, of course, since then, now they say the roof is on fire, and exactly. they mean a song. Exa <laughs> that's exactly right. You know, luckily, we all got out alive. I think yeah. the, the only sober ones in the concert were me and my 12-year-old friend. And <laughs> we did realize that something strange was happening up there, but we thought it was part of the effect. Yeah. But, you know, that, that was the start of my musical life. And... Uh, or an interesting part of my musical life, and and now I'm in another one. And this is a phenomenally interesting place to be. Logitech has has uh, introduced a whole line of products products around UE, which is Ultimate Ears, and I'll explain more about that later. Ultimate Ears. Ultimate oh. Ears, and it's a it's a business we have that really targets performance musicians. It's a phenomenal product, and it, I'll I'll come back to that later. Okay. But let me let me tell you what I talked about from an industry standpoint. It's uh, the industry's at an inflection point, and uh, mu the music industry s seems to continually be at an inflection point. And artists and how they make money, and you know, there there there's always a new a new way that things seem to be evolving. And I think there is one right now. You know, today, you know, the typical performing artist used to make money by selling you know vinyl records and CDs. Yeah. Now it's back to performance. You know, a lot of them are making most of their money performing. I was just telling somebody that. Uh, I read yesterday that the Stones are going to be in London on their 50th 5-0 anniversary. Unbelievable. Which makes me feel a little old. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but Not I as old as them, but <laughs> still, <laughs> we feel older well, too. <laughs> well, I'm going to try to go to that because that will be a very special thing. But, yeah. you know, it's, a, uh, it's an interesting time in the industry from our standpoint too because you know, you've got three different dynamics happening. First, you've got this concept of uh, of of discovery you know there's always been discovery in music you know yeah. people would listen to the radio i grew up listening to radio shows like yours or and even more listening to music you know turning sure. the dial trying to find a cool song right and when i'd find that song i'd then turn it some more after it finished to try to find it again <laughs> and i usually could because you know the the record labels were working with the the radio stations to to promote their their songs and so you had yeah, uh, really, I would say a very, a very f uh, focused distribution of music from the record companies through the the DJs and 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 uh, radio shows mm -hmm. to the consumer. Today, it's it's uh, a wide open in w between YouTube, Spotify, Pandora, all these services where a, a recording artist can get to market. It's a wide open space, and I think you're going to have a lot of recording artists who are really created, uh, created democratically by yeah. just sheer popularity Good so point. you can discover new music in totally different ways so discovery is one mm -hmm. second one is shareability you know um, today it used to be you know if you wanted to share your music you brought somebody over to your house and and you you know you 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 you, you played a track or yeah. you played a song you dropped the needle on the vinyl you to say you gotta hear this that's yeah. right but 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 now it's no longer like that now you you basically uh you can click a button, and I can play, and then you can play on my device. So yeah. it's really cool. And then the last one is so discovery, shareability, and the last one's wirelessness. And 
you know, Logitech is, uh, has a long history of wireless uh, communications, wireless devices. Sure. So we're bringing wireless and music together. And all of our, we're bringing a whole range of devices that are wireless, which is really fun. So tell us about the couple of things that you brought here, including a UE device. Here. Well, these Ultimate are terrific. Ears. This is this is a boombox, and this is a mini boombox. These are brand new. They're both oh, wireless. I thought they were just a, a little separate speaker, but they're well, mini they boomboxes in well, general. Well, if you heard them, and you should yeah. be able to on radio, but if you heard them, you'll realize they are a boombox. I mean, it's a mini boombox, but it's a boombox. And Huge very volume. cool colors as well. Very cool. We love this design. You know, we're really focused on design, and we think these are going to be fabulously successful. I mean... Uh, we're really excited that the the interest in these has taken off. We have plenty of supply right now, but Good. but uh, we're going to be ready to make more. And how much good. in U.S. dollars? Uh, give us an idea what these ultimate ninety nine dollars for this one, one ninety nine for this one. So ninety nine dollars for the mini boombox, one ninety nine for the boombox. Sweet. And uh, you know they deliver an incredible sound quality and sound volume in a very small package. And they're doing it wirelessly. They're doing it wirelessly. So Bluetooth from Absolutely. my device, I'm assuming, in a smartphone, tablet, whatever it is whatever that I want to play my music whatever to share. You got. Whatever you got, you can play it right through here with the click of a button, and your friend can share at the same time. In fact, you can have more than one friend playing on the same device. It's, you can inter, inter, intermingle and play and share each other's music. Whoa. So it'll pair then to multiple devices. And then it's like, Absolutely. hey, my turn to play DJ. Take it over. That's you know, right. And, and That's exactly right. right. That's right. You I can have battles. It. I love that. that battles. What a cool concept. And, of course, leave it to Logitech to come up with some more fun, cool things to share and to talk about. And you mentioned availability is now. Absolutely. And inexpensive enough to snag them and have a blast with them. We've got to check these things out at Logitech.com. Ultimate Ears. It's a whole line of cool stuff that you want to share. And uh, Bracken Darrell, the president of Logitech, we are thrilled that you able, were able to spend a couple of minutes with us. We got to catch up again because there's much more to talk about. A lot uh, more. Might you be at CES coming up? Or uh, something yeah, like that? I'll definitely be there. I'll look forward to seeing you. Let's there. connect there. We'll probably have more news there. Yeah, I'm, I bet you will. <laughs> so let's connect <laughs> okay. there for sure. Terrific. Meantime, Logitech.com. We'll link you there too when you hit us up at IntoTomorrow.com. You'll see what Bracken and all of our guests here at IFA in Berlin have to show and tell on the radio. Check it out. Back with more from IFA in Berlin, Germany. I'm Dave Graveline. This is Into Tomorrow on the Advanced Media Network.